Magandang umaga. Good morning, everyone. Mylene Borillo here, uh, President of OSM Maritime Services. Thank you, Sailor Society, for this uh, very meaningful conference. Thank you for doing what you are doing. Thank you, Gavin, for the invitation. Thank you so much to the teachers and students in this conference. So I am Mylene Borillo. I'm currently the president of OSM Maritime Services. I'm also the managing director of our shared service and currently part of the two foundation of the two shipping company. What I will discuss today is about OSM. But first, who we are. We are a maritime group with three decades of experience. We do technical management and we do crew management. We have 17,000 seafarers, including the shore employees, and so proud of that, the 50% of those are Filipinos. So what am I talking about today? So I'll discuss about the maritime landscape, how it is changing right now, and how is this influencing wellness uh, in the industry? I'll be sharing what OSM is doing. But first, let me reiterate that about 90% of the world trade is carried by sea. It's so significant that if the shipping industry will stop in three days, then uh, there'll be uh, nothing in the grocery. Sabi nila, no shipping, no shopping. Plus you have the oils, you have the medicine, you have the cars, all significantly dependent of shipping. So this is how important the shipping industry is. But the industry have challenges and opportunities. It's not only challenges, we have opportunities as well, uh, like the digitalization, innovation, new technologies, but uh, 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 an opportunity for uh, sustainability, the CO2 reduction, uh, that's we, what we call uh, green shipping. But we also have challenges as well. Uh, we have COVID-19 recently, we have also uh, the Ukrainian and Russian war. We also have the changing family dynamics because of these uh, challenges uh, as well. So the maritime industry is fast, uh, uh, is shifting at a very high speed. And you know, uh, who are the most affected? It's the CFR, because at the end of the day, this industry is about people. A high performing vessel in a healthy ocean is highly dependent on healthy people managing and operating in it. Lot of, uh, uh, I know a lot of uh, seafarers from my 25 years of experience uh, that uh, needs to disembark because of sickness. I know a number of seafarers need to stop sailing because of family problem. I know a lot of seafarers who were traumatized with COVID-19, uh, including the long quarantine. I know a number uh, of seafarers who need to stop sailing because of a lot of financial problems and cannot cope with the stress on board. There's a lot of these issues ongoing right now that we as a ship owner, as a ship manager must address because at the end of the day, this industry is all about people. So what did we do in OSM? So what, uh, we call it, we establish life relationship, not only work relationship. So you have the technical skills, you have the behavior skills. These are important for being a seafarer. But OSM established five years ago, OSM Cares Program. What is the OSM Care Program? This is, uh, this is helping the seafarers with the life skills. Uh, it's the most neglected part uh, of human element, but we believe that it's very important. So what is it? What is life skills? This is a holistic approach that deals with physical, mental, social, and spiritual of a seafarer. We incorporated it in our trainings, in our policies, on our processes, and we act on it. We believe that the seafarers are not only human doing, but seafarers are human being. And in order for us to help them, we must have this program. So what is the program of OSM Care is all about? So I'll give you some of what we're doing. 
So what we did is a health and wellness program. We partnered with Nordic Medical Clinic. Uh, we have a mandatory attendance to health and wellness training. We have a telemedicine. We have psychological counseling for uh, distress seafers on board. We have regular health seminars. The main objective is to empower the seafers to take care of their health. Hindi pwedeng i-outsource and taking care of their health. It's only the seafers who must do it. Other than that, we created this holistic health onboard program where eating consciously uh, the right food and staying physically uh, fit and psychologically fit is very important. You want to improve the health and wellness of, of crew on board. The food that they eat and also the activities they do for physical and mental. We also did a lot of things like see first family club, uh, we established seven family club nationwide. We have a dedicated family counselor. We have a dedicated family care group, and we do a lot of seminars. What we want to achieve is to inspire seafarers and families to improve uh, family life and relationship. We also did financial wellness program. We Filipinos, I think we are very, not very poor, but I think there's something that we need to learn to be financially uh, uh, comfortable. So we do a lot of interactive financial seminar. We are company policy. We incorporated a lot of things that will help the CFR, uh financially. We did the seminar on online banking and a lot of things. So for us ship owners, what we do with our program is to ensure that it's a holistic approach. It's targeted and whatever we do for our CFRs, we do as well for our employees. Our company policies supporting the program, it must be proactive and not just a one-off, two-off program. It must uh, use existing facts and data and involve the expert. And it's an evolution. It's continuous and structured. So this is for the part of, uh, of a ship ownership manager. However, there must be a role as well for the seafarers. Uh, you are students right now, maritime student cadets, but in future, you will be claimed na natin, you will be captains and chief engineers, uh, and you will play a very important role in this industry. So the role for seafarers is to take care of yourself so you can take care of others. For your technical skills, for your behavioral skills, we encourage the seafarers to build and build your competence and everything else will follow. So we provide a training platform for your technical skills and behavioral skills, but we, we urge you to have that energy to build and build your competence. On the life skills approach, you have, you have to understand that you are a human being. You're not a human doing. So nurture yourself holistically and start it now. Physical, mental, social, and spiritual. You should start it now, not when you're sitting on board. The stronger you are right now as maritime students, the stronger you will be when you join the vessel as seafarers and eventually officers. Again, in summary, there's a need for talent in the industry. The need for maritime skills will continue to evolve because of uh, a lot of factors. In a high-performing vessel, in a healthy ocean is very dependent on healthy people. So how to be healthy, you take care of yourself and be part of the change of the maritime industry. The ship owners, the ship managers are here to help you, but it's much, much better that you will start it now. Salamat po. And uh, uh, I'm open for any questions that you might have.